What's going on, everybody? It's Evan, the King, Zod, Buckets, Mo Bodies. They all mean the same thing. What I'm here to talk to y'all today is a pretty serious matter. It's about the uh, the shooting incident that happened in Orlando. I don't remember the name of the club. What I do remember, because all I've been seeing about it. Salvo was a, you know, it was a gay club, so everybody wants to, how should I put this, everybody wants to take this chance to start, uh, you know, saying how unfair America is to the gay people, and, you know, how it's, uh, how gay people live in fear on a day-to-day -day basis of uh, losing their lives, and, uh, you know, all this and that, and at the end of the day, gay or not, it's the thing that it should matter to people is the fact that lives were lost okay there was i believe 50 people that were killed and then there was i want to say three that were injured so a total of 53 people were harmed on american soil at an american club with americans there we lost that many people in one night now that should really be the focus on everybody's, you know, attention. Instead of trying to find reasons as to why they can fit in their views on gay rights or, you know, say, or, you know, try to change gun laws and whatnot. I completely understand that, you know, obviously gun laws do need to be a little bit stricter. If you ask me, as far as a background check, I don't think that's enough. I think people should undergo a psychological check to see if they're even mentally stable to own a gun. Now, granted, there's a few people who could just snap one day and you would never know, but a lot of those people do have those psychological tendencies that are already existent. And if you were to test them for said thing, maybe that would make a little bit of a difference. But it is in our Constitution, which is what we based our government off, the Second Amendment, the right to bear arms. Now, if you take that right away from people, you're basically saying, well, to hell with the Constitution, to hell with the government that we spent the last, let's see, it was in 17, well, give or take like 200, 250 years, you know, just throwing all that away and saying, look, this is how it's going to be now. Can't really do that. At the end of the day, if America is going to stay America, you have to be able to uphold the laws that were already put in place by our founding fathers. Now, I'm not saying that there's no law that can be changed, but at that same time, if it's in the Constitution, it's in the Constitution. You know, that's like the bones of our, of our government. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying the government's always right either, because I disagree with a lot of the shit that goes on in this country. But, at the end of the day, I feel like if something is in the Constitution, that should always be protected. Now, you know, I've seen a lot, I don't have Instagram, I don't have a Twitter, I have a Facebook, and I have a YouTube channel. That's about it. But on my Facebook, I've seen all kinds of posts about how, you know, like I said earlier, gay people now, or not even now, that they live in fear of losing their lives on a day-to-day -day basis. Or how, you know, the last thing that we need to worry about now is, you know, these transgender bathrooms. Or, uh, I don't even know what LGBT stands for, but I'm assuming it has to do with gay people. And if you ask me, I have nothing against gay people. I'd prefer if you didn't involve me in it. Like, I've had gay friends in the past man and woman they don't bother me as long as they don't bring me into it because i'm not gay so if you start to make gay remarks to me i'm not going to be offended but it's going to make me uncomfortable in the sense that it, i just don't like it so of course i'm going to try and exclude myself from anything that makes me uncomfortable that's just what anybody would do you know all you people who are complaining about how gay people deserve more rights well, it offends you when people like me state their opinion, so you try to remove yourself from things that make you uncomfortable or offend you. And like I said, it doesn't offend me, it just makes me uncomfortable. 
it's not that bad. Now, yes, it does sadden me to know that 50 people lost their lives that night, all because of one psychopathic person that felt it was necessary to go and kill that many people. And, you know, there's a lot of speculation that he was a terrorist and a Muslim and he was from ISIS, this and that. And then there's a lot of speculation saying he was an American citizen. But the one thing that people need to understand, regardless if they're an American citizen, born in America, whatever, they can still have ties to things outside of the country. It's not like we're like China or, you know, North Korea, where we're just cut off from everybody and you know the world doesn't exist only that country does it's not like that we have a lot of freedom in this country which means that we have a lot of opportunities to connect with people that don't really like us too much now this is just this might be me jumping to conclusions but if somebody is from the same nationality the same religion the same descent as the people that dislike us citizen or not their beliefs are what matter to them. Just like how you see all these people who are always protesting Trump rallies and they're offended because they're an American citizen, but a lot of the people protesting them, and I'm not trying to be racist, but are Mexicans. They're always waving the Mexican flag. And at the end of the day, it just goes to show, regardless of what country you're in, whatever you know race you descend from, you're obviously going to have a lot of pride in it. So what bugs me about all of this is that there's obviously people here that are wanting to go out of their way to harm people and cause events like this, regardless if they're Americans or not. And Americans is what I mean. So at the end of the day, I don't think people should be protesting on fa Facebook about gay rights. I don't think, you know, and I saw this one chick, she like painted like one side of her face and the other it was like half a rainbow on each side and it was like this is my tribute to you know all the people that died in Orlando it's like if you're really wanting to try and help people doing your makeup a certain way isn't going to do anything you know like I just don't understand people these days if things bother you that much if you want to show your support raise a fund for the families try and speak out on your views don't just go to Facebook and try to you know get likes on your posts because you want to seem like some sensitive person okay the only reason I'm speaking on this matter is because I don't know it bugs me it really bugs me to see how people are reacting to this because instead of actually showing you know support or instead of actually trying to uh, you know feel sorrowful about it they just want to make Facebook posts about it it just doesn't make any sense to me. If I feel like people on Facebook are more concerned with how they look to other people than to actually support the cause that they're making these posts about. I don't know. It's frustrating. But if you ask me, I feel like, yes, there should be maybe a little bit stricter gun laws, not in the sense that nobody can buy them, not in the sense that they should just be taken away from us, but in the sense that there should be stricter testing, there should be longer testing, and obviously background checks, mental tests, whatever it takes to keep people who are mentally incapable of actually owning something that could take somebody's life, prevent them from getting it. And if they're gay or not, it doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is that lives were lost. That's what people need to realize. Instead of trying to be Facebook warriors and talk about how supportive they are of gay rights and how wrong this is because it was targeted on gay people, if you ask me, it just so happened to be at that club. So that's all I really got to say about this because I'm really going to lose it if I go on any longer. Let me know how y'all feel about it. That's how I feel about it. And uh, hopefully next video won't be so, uh, how do I put this, so down. <laughs> So, um, hope y'all enjoyed the video, and uh, have a good night.